Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Steve Cast. My name is Matthew here in Nebraska. Joining me is the titular Steve. Hello, hello. I'm glad your mic works, Steve. Yeah, me too. Happy. <laughs> same, same to you. Now go on mute. Thank you. Uh, over there on <laughs> the West Coast. <laughs> and he did! <laughs> over there on the West Coast is Rachel. Hello. So, Steve, I want to know, do you prefer titular or eponymous? Uh, titponymous. <laughs> titponymous. I like it. I like it. Urban Dictionary. That titponymous. No, tit-ponymous. absolutely not. <laughs> so, so we're back with another episode of the Steve Cast. This one's going to be very exciting for Steve and I because, um, unbeknownst to Rachel, who mm. is well versed in you know, feminism and all these wonderful (laughs) women of cinema. She had no idea of a woman named Cynthia Rothrock, Steve. She had no clue. Exposed. Exposed as the fraud that she is. (laughs) Uh, Steve, who is Cynthia Rothrock? Uh, Cynthia Rothrock was this amazing martial artist who did a bunch of, uh, I mean, I know her mostly from the 80s. I'm sure she had movies uh, after and maybe before that. Uh, but she was, I, I mean, think you know, all the crazy things that you've seen Jackie Chan do in a movie, and Cynthia Rothrock was doing those right here in the U.S. in the 80s and got basically uh, no credit for it outside of people that watched late, watched like, you know, late night uh, HBO Cinemax. Uh, yeah. Luckily, Tubi's coming through in a big way because they've got a ton of her movies on there. Yes, yes, yes. And this movie that we're going to watch tonight is called Martial Law. This was actually selected by Jeff. And I'm going mm-hmm. to take issue with Jeff here because um, – now, I am a fairly in-depth, uh, detailed Rothrock aficionado. I loved Miss Rothrock even back in the day because she had short hair and I love girls with short hair. So I had a huge crush on So Cynthia you were – you immediately – this woman who's known for her amazing martial arts ability, the thing at the top of the list for you was her appearance. Wow, like her problematic. Hey, Problematic. Hey, Problematic. Hey, hey, I was like <laughs> ten years old. Give me a break, right? She she was badass. She was kicking ass, and she just happened to have short haircut. I was like, yeah. And actually, if you watch her videos, because um, I was doing a bunch of research on this before the show, I linked. A bunch yeah, of them. I'm sure you I were. Don't, I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if you guys bothered to watch any of them um, in depth. But she actually said that uh, that was how she broke out was because she was an attractive white woman who got broke into Hong Kong. So the story behind it was um, this Hong Kong production uh, studio was looking for a white American male version of Bruce Lee. And so they did a bunch of um, sort of auditions with all of these martial arts stars. A from like the early 80s, whatever. And they, for whatever reason, she – Somebody said, hey, well, Cynthia should audition for one of these things as well. And so they were like, okay, fine. We'll bring the woman along. (laughs) So they brought her along. And no, that's literally what they said. That is literally what they said. So she shows up and she blows everybody away. Um, And like a year and a half later or whatever, Hong Kong is like, we've rewritten the, the script that we're going to do here. It was uh, Yes, Madam with Michelle Yeoh. Uh, and they're like, hey, we want, we want you to be in it. And when uh, Cynthia Rothrock went over to Hong Kong, she thought that they were going to try to make her look Asian because she didn't know how to you know, speak you know, um, Chinese and, or anything like that. But they're just like, no, you're just going to play like a British martial arts you know, badass. And that's how she got her – literally kickstarted her career in mm. in cinema so for her for, for all of her 80s output is almost exclusively hong kong films okay. and if anybody knows anything about hong kong films uh, you will know that the fight choreography in a hong, hong kong you know action film is insane it's like you know they spend one month of filming on a single action sequence whereas you know the united states might spend a day or two on their action sequences so in the chat room because we we were discussing this at the end of our um steve james cast last Mm -hmm. month um fuck you paramount for blocking that video i had to cut a whole bunch (laughs) of awesome yeah I, i i did all this work on that i upload it and then boom it's blocked by paramount pictures so 
ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, but I, I, I can't. Just go. You're gonna have to watch American Ninja Three to see the greatness of Steve James. You're gonna have to like reverse all the footage, you know, where they like do the mirror. I know, image. do something. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> so so I'm not gonna be able to show you like clips. I, I think going forward, we're probably gonna stay away from clips because you know I spent like four hours this morning putting Just all this know together. That- Everything we watch is available for free on Tubi, so so go Most there. of it. Most of it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, and, this should mostly be listened to alongside the movie, right? Like, you should be yeah, you participating should be playing along. in this. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, no more clips, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. Now, I will say, Charles Bandon, fuck us over. You know, uh, that- Alien <laughs> Battle... The, the shit producers of Alien Battlefield Earth didn't fuck us over. They didn't That guy us. might be dead. It's... <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's just Paramount, right? So I, I take issue with Jeff because our good friend Jeff, he likes to make bold declarations. Even when I know he's wrong, he will just throw out bold declarations. And so when we were in the, the chat room throwing out ideas for Cynthia Rothrock, when when at the end of that cast, Steve and I were stunned that our our you know super feminist <laughs> friend Rachel had no idea this amazing woman even existed. It's mm-hmm. quite – quite um everything has been a lie a decade yeah. of lies <laughs> quite embarrassing uh to be your friend honestly when, when we found that out you, you know it's we were trying to Feeling i was like i was like hey you know let's uh i was uh, throwing some some clips of some hong kong michelle or uh, uh cynthia rothrock in there and then what does jeff say oh martial law not even close so we're watching in one of the american films that is not the highlight of – you're not getting the best of Cynthia Rothrock here is all I'm saying. Well, should we – I mean if we haven't hit play yet. We could – Yeah, I mean, no, Matt, no, Matt, no, what, we what gotta is hold the best? This. We got to hold this against Jeff. No, we're holding this against Jeff. It's not that <laughs> – Okay, well, then I'm in support of It's this. not that she's <laughs> bad in this. It's just saying you're not going to get the crazy over-the-top action scenes that you would get in like in a Hong Kong – film like okay. yes madam or above the law or stuff like that you're you're not gonna see flipping off of like the ceiling and spinning around and, and doing that kind of crazy shit you'll still get your kung fu stuff but you're she's not gonna be the focus whereas if jeff would have said oh yes madam that would that would be a great one where you have two strong female leads kicking ass throughout the whole movie no 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 she's a love interest in this one so <laughs> just just be ready for that but let's be sure to make fun of Jeff all throughout this film. So um, I'm going to give you guys just a, a few quick uh, facts about Miss Rothrock uh, before she got into cinema. So from 1981 to 1985, she became a five-time world champion in martial arts demonstration. She still holds that record. Uh, She was the first and only woman to win a weapon handling competition. Uh, And the reason why that's important, you might think, well, surely there have been women that have won weapon handling competitions since the mid or the early 80s. And you would be correct. But back then, they did not separate the men and the women like they do now. So back Mm. then, she actually had to compete against the men and she was the only woman to actually win when she was competing against all of the men. Uh, oh, she was yeah. the first woman to appear on the cover of a martial arts magazine. So that was another big thing. Um, obviously, she got her film started in the Hong Kong flick. Uh, yes, Madam, after producers were looking for that next Bruce Lee, they saw her fight and they wanted to b- sort of bring her over. She was the first woman from the West to star in a Hong Kong action movie. And what's really interesting about her is when she got over to Hong Kong, they, you know, in America, um, they don't let you do really anything dangerous on set. But mm-hmm. in Hong Kong, it is, no, you're going to get beat to shit constantly. So, <laughs> uh, for example, there's an interview with her online where she says when she filmed Yes, Madam, her both of her arms were completely black and blue because oh, they literally kick um, uh, as hard as they can. And it's kind of like, in, she, was like that, she was like, that was my first film. And I didn't know anything about stunt choreography or anything. It's just like, hey. They put you in dangerous situations, and boom, away you go. Um, So she took first place, according to Wikipedia here, she took first place in forms 32 times, first place in weapons 12 times in her first 38 tournaments, including competing in men's forms three out of four times, and as there was no women's division. And she's a grandmaster 
in like five different types of martial arts disciplines. Uh, Sang Sudo, Taekwondo, Eagle Claw, Wushu, Northern Shaolin, and stuff I can't pronounce, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Um, <laughs> she, she was also the inspiration for Sonya Blade in Mortal Kombat, and the producer of Mortal Kombat didn't want to pay her, so they didn't use her and just Difficult. stole her stole her moves and, and based everything off of her. That uh, makes and me even more for. sad, because we also learned several years back that Steve James was originally cast as Jax, and that also didn't work out. Oh, shit. Sad. It's very, very sad. Yeah, yeah. So Cynthia Rothrock, she's still doing movies here and there, um, but I guess she runs like a, some sort of martial arts studio in like a Universal City um, in California. So she's still out doing her thing, you know, teaching people how to kick ass. And I did find one interesting quote from her in her interview where she said that she, she never accepts roles in which she is the victim or she at least she tries to avoid all those roles where she's a victim because she feels that martial arts shows that women can defend themselves and be just as strong as men. So that's a little bit about Cynthia Rothrock. Um, Rachel, how um, sad and depressed are you that you didn't know anything about this wonderful woman before two men told you about her? (laughs) Jesus, when you put it like that. I mean, I'll be honest. I know nothing about Kung Fu movies. I've never seen one before. So, really? yeah, so if she was big in in kung fu movies, I'm not that surprised. I've never heard of her. I've heard of Michelle Yao, of course, cuz she's amazing and has had breakout stuff here, but but I'm ex- I'm like honestly, I should be embarrassed and yet I'm just excited. I'm just excited to see her like better late than ever. Yeah, yeah. And then after we watch Martial Law, you'll have to go back and you watch her Hong Kong films. Okay, first. you'll have to tell me, should I start with Yes, Madam? Is yeah. that the one to go with? That was right. that was her first film. Uh, and okay. that's with Michelle Yeoh. So that's probably, I think that is w- considered one of the classic martial arts films from Hong Kong from okay. that time. And she was originally going to star opposite like Jackie Chan in the next film, uh, but Jackie Chan got hurt. And so then they put her in uh, writing wrongs. Um, so she was always disappointed she never got to actually work with Jackie Chan because oh. they were always injured <laughs> at the time. <laughs> so. I, I've seen a where I, I know I've seen like big chunks of a bunch of her different movies, which is why I, I'm familiar with her. But I honestly don't know that I've ever just sat down and watched run, watched one from start to finish. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this. I will also say uh, I was barely paying attention to anything you just said because I was really curious about why she wasn't in any of the Expendables movies. Uh, and it turns oh. out in... Uh, 2014, I don't know if, if I should be sad or happy about this, uh, she was in a an all-female Expendables knockoff called Mercenaries, where it's uh, uh, I get a... Who's, who is in this? Uh, Brigitte Nielsen's in this. Vivica Fox is in this one. Uh, wow. Cynthia Rothrock, of course. Um, so, you know, good news is on the surface, this looks like it would be really fun. Bad news is it was made by the Asylum. Ooh. 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 It is, appears to be on Tubi, though. Yeah. (laughs) We're going to put that on the docket at some point uh, when we really want to hate ourselves. Yeah, did the Expendables have any female characters in In it? In part three, they had uh, Ronda Rousey in it, but I don't Uh, recall... uh, Yeah, I don't recall any, any women leads in the first I'll, I'll look it up at some point but yeah if there were other ones they're they're not jumping out at me okay so clearly what we need to do tonight steve because every time we we get into one of these we're always like well who should you tweet you gotta tweet miss rothrock i Find already it. i already pulled up her account so. yeah good. there you go good good uh, man but i i am uh, Rachel is going to Rachel is going to speak through me and tell me what to say oh, <laughs> because because Matt's going to be like oh man that I short haircut was doing it for me be ashamed well, well, and be the word like the mouthpiece today this is this it's is not fair. it's not bad to say she was a beautiful woman that kicked ass there's nothing wrong with that right I, have I been canceled <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I was just going to let Matt's words hang there how for a bit. dare 10 year old Matthew find Cynthia Rothrock attractive holy shit Jesus Christ I... exactly shame shame on your sexuality shame shame, shame. 
Okay, so so martial law. Let's let's get right into it. This is an hour and twenty nine minutes long, so we're gonna watch the first fifteen minutes here. Any final thoughts, Rachel? That you no. uh, want to throw out? You're just ready to get into it. I'm just hype. I'm very much looking forward to this. Normally, I'm filled with a overwhelming sense of dread on Steamcast Day, but okay. today I'm actually feeling pretty hype. Okay. We are going to start in five, four, three, two, one, play. Well, what do they want? Two pizza large specials. What do we do, sir? Get the goddamn pizzas. What are you, new? Okay, Jeff isn't allowed to pick anymore. <laughs> I, I warned you all. I warned you all. Maybe someone should have specified to Jeff, picked the movie from this list where Cynthia Rothrock is the main character. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> let me tell you. The, the trajectory of hype to where I am now. I don't know if we've ever had a super deep line. <laughs> I feel this I, is this is not what was promised. Yeah, Rachel, how are you feeling about this pro law enforcement uh, uh, point of view so far here? I, I am know- anti, <laughs> but also like feeling pretty good about my feminist bona fides right now. <laughs> like shame meter is no longer registering. <laughs> so, Steve, what's what's happened in the first fifteen minutes here? Uh, some guys try to rob a jewelry store. They uh, they take a bunch of hostages. They ask for a helicopter, which you know is kind of. Eh. More importantly, they ask for pizza, uh, specifically <laughs> two large pizzas. And so a a Domino's it was this Domino's or a Domino's knockoff. I don't even remember. I think it was uh, like they must have paid legit money. Yeah, it's either or... Domino's or uh, Domino's X. A delivery driver for them uh, goes into the store with two pizzas, but it turns out he is a super cop who is nicknamed martial law. His last name, I think is Thompson. I don't remember his first name. Uh, but he beats the shit out of these jewel store thieves. Uh, Cynthia Rothrock does not show up at all. Uh, I I got, she shows up a little later. (laughs) I'm going scene by scene here, Matt. Oh, sorry. I'm jumping ahead. buddy. I'm jumping ahead. I'm, I'm going scene by scene to paint a picture of how long it takes for Cynthia Rothrock to uh, to show up in this movie. Gotcha. So, have, you, have you ever noticed that in all of these like 80s and it's most evident in Die Hard because I think everybody remembers this from Die Hard. But all of the law enforcement officers always want to bring in the helicopters and they even parody, parody that in Die Hard when the FBI agents like give them choppers right up the ass. <laughs> it's, it's in all of these movies. They always love the helicopters. Helicopters. Yeah, but who doesn't want a helicopter? I mean, helicopters, you know, they're not as good as pizza, but they're, they're a solid number <laughs> two, I guess. Anyways, first scene, uh, Super Cop Martial Law defeats the kidnappers, no Cynthia Rothrock. Then we see a guy who is uh, running from different cops, uh, one of which is very upset because he had a vasectomy. However, his wife had him go pick up birth control, which, you know, you would think that if the wife was cheating... That's really the wrong move to take, but, you know, it's neither here nor there. Uh, They catch this kid, put him in jail. No Cynthia Rothrock in this scene. Uh, This kid... Marry a Rothrock to be seen. This kid says, I'm only going to talk to to, to, to martial law. Uh, And you find out that martial law... I'm not going to use his name anymore. He is martial law. He's, he's Steve McQueen's literal son. He's Dutch from the original Karate Kid, for any of anybody's interest. Oh, okay. And well, I so bet you, far, I was... guarantee you he's going to be in Cobra Kai. Guarantee he's going to show up. Hmm. He's, the only, he's the only person in uh, from the Karate Kid movies that has not shown up in Cobra Kai yet. I'm sure he's far too busy. Well, I will watch all of the Cobra Kai episodes and also point out when Cynthia Rothrock is not present in them. <laughs> <laughs> uh anyways this kid turns out to be martial law's brother uh martial law pulls some favors and gets the kid released to his to to martial law's custody no Typical cynthia rothrock corruption. yes uh called in some favors uh then we find out that the kid is actually working for a uh, bill of kill bill fame uh he was a, a driver doing something uh but he's kind of put on the spot uh Mr. Kill Bill is acting like you know he knows that Martial Law's brother <laughs> Mr. is Kill is Bill. bad <laughs> it's Mr. Kill Bill that's who he is David um, Carradine 
Give no. the man some respect. <laughs> I will not. He said Mr. <laughs> yes, yeah, he's Mr. Kill Bill. Uh, so Mr. Kill Bill pretends like he's going to kill the brother because the, the brother has been accused of, you know, stealing from this uh, this other bigger time criminal. But it turns out Mr. Kill Bill knew who the actual culprit was the whole time. Uh, and so he kills him. He kills this other guy as kind of a an example to the little brother. You know, he's trying to be nice to him. It's like, I knew all along that you were innocent, that you didn't rob from me. Uh, basically, you know, play ball with me and I'll, and I'll be good to you. No Cynthia Rothrock in this scene. Finally, <laughs> finally, we get Cynthia Rothrock. You know what she's doing? She's fucking this douchebag guy, Marshall yes! Law, that we don't care about. Uh, uh, I thanks, just, Jeff. I, <laughs> thanks, Jeff. Uh, I just, uh, Rachel, I want to stop here. What was going through your mind when the the first time that you've seen this female hero that you have been promised is she's just servicing this douchebag guy that we don't care if about? We're muted during the. Th- you would have heard me audibly groan. I was like, oh, and then we get her yep. standing up dressed like a sex worker nothing says feminist empowerment yeah like introducing our action heroine uh you know so is she position i i'm watching this and i I guess she was on top so there's that yeah you know (laughs) small victories uh so I'm I'm watching this. I can hear and, Matt's and, erection from here. So that was a little awkward. Oh god, it's great! It's great. <laughs> An audible <laughs> erection is not anything that's ever popped into boing, my boing, head before. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, so this movie's not ringing a bell. I don't think I've either never seen this or I've only seen like the good bits. Uh, maybe towards the end, hopefully it gets better. Uh, is Cynthia Rothrock? Because I think she, when she was dressing up like a hooker, essentially, she put a badge on. Is she she's like undercover. also a cop? She's, in she's, she's, she's undercover. Nice. Yeah. All right. So she's working yeah. undercover. Uh, I'm guessing in like a, a, a prostitution sting of some sort. You're but guessing. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm hoping so. It wasn't clear. I mean, no. I mean, this is the '80s. Uh, I mean, the '80s have led me to believe that this is just how women dressed back then. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. So she's she's working double shifts, and uh, yeah, martial law douchebag is not happy about that. But she's like, you know, if you let me move in with you, I wouldn't have to work so hard. So I, I assume that he is... Women oh trying to God. move in. Yeah, I, I assume he's got some We're, commitment we, issues along this. Uh, this first 15 minutes out, like, was a which, train wreck. Which, um, more, you know, stereotype of women box we have not checked. We've got a hooker who wants to, who's, you know, wants commitment. There's a woman who wants to cook. Uh, what else are we missing? What do we got? She's in the movie missing? for ten seconds compared to the to the male lead. Mm. It's yep. I mean, this is a Jeff wreck. I, I mean, tried telling you guys this. Did, now, 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 remember, Jeff said this is not even close. We said, Jeff, uh, what, what what Cynthia Rothrock movie do you recommend? He says, Martial Law. Quote, not even close yes. and i tried telling you guys i tried what? telling you guys then i, I linked all sorts of shit you make the decision then like you're part this of ain't my call. this is this is rachel's thing we decided rachel you oh, ha- i blame it all rachel wow this, i was waiting i knew it was coming the scapegoating was coming it's, by the way when you said uh jeff wreck i was thinking like wreck w-r-e-c-k which i think is something we should call it from now on a jeff wreck jeff wreck absolutely Mm -hmm. absolutely so i mean that's fine that's fine we'll keep going (laughs) is that it is that all i I mean that's basically yeah like after uh (laughs) cynthia rothrock shows up for 10 seconds to to fuck the male lead uh we see (laughs) mr kill bill like uh, he apparently owns he's either owns a martial arts dojo or he's just hanging out at one but she's he's watching uh martial law's little brother fight someone and apparently he likes what he sees and that's where we're at now there was a whole lot of not cynthia rothrock in this opening Indeed. 15 minutes so rachel yeah. give me your thoughts how are you feeling right now pretty bummed pretty bummed i'm hoping like you know what i'm trying to figure out how cynthia is going to get pulled into the action um and I'm guessing something's going to happen to the little brother. I'm hoping something happens to the older brother and it just turns into a full revenge narrative. I'm guessing martial law is not going to die, but a girl can hope. See, I want to scroll all the way up in the Discord here because I'm pretty sure Rachel said, I trust Jeff. No, I, I'm certainly pretty, not. Certainly pretty not. sure on, you said that. <laughs> I'm going to just double check that it's definitely not that. here. 
<laughs> Screenshot uh-huh. that and put that in the in the YouTube video. That absolves us of all Don't you delete it. Don't you delete it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, God, I can't find it. It's it's somewhere in here. I know it's somewhere in there. But you you mentioned something about, I trust Jeff. Je- Jeff would steer us wrong. And I just want to let you know that Jeff Wreck has been born. So I looked up trust and I don't, I don't see it. So. Okay, well. That's, that's, don't worry, I'll find it first. So we'll go ahead and watch the next 15 minutes, minutes 15 through 30 of martial law. Wait, in- wait, 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 stop. No, what? Stop. No. I, uh, I just Googled, I was just curious, were, were Cynthia Rothrock and Steve James ever in the same movie? Wait, 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 what, what? Were they? Uh, well, it doesn't appear so, however, the First hit on Google leads me to an article that says Debbie James, daughter of late action legend Steve James, joins Cynthia Rothrock in a movie called Bitch Fight. What? 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 <laughs> so are you are you saying we need to watch this? I don't know. I'm going to put this uh, this link in the chat for you all to view. Uh, but I'm ready for another 15 minutes, and I hope Cynthia Rothrock is actually present in this 15 minutes. Same. Okay. Well, let's do this in five, four, three, Talk two, one. Play. <laughs> that was nice. I have to go to work. How long are you gonna keep doing this? Why do you keep pulling double shifts? But if we move in together and share expenses, I might not have to work so much. <laughs> Later, aren't you? <laughs> and the disappointment <laughs> continues. Jesus <laughs> fucking. This Jeff. is the most sexist piece of shit. Jeff. What the hell? It's also a Jeff pick. It's a Jeff pick. It is Jeff. Yeah, Jeff Wreck. Not close, guys. Yeah. Uh-huh. Not, close. Not close to being a good idea. Like, I was <laughs> so excited at the beginning of this cast. Garbage. <laughs> God, Can we so... just watch that, that <laughs> movie? <laughs> what? All right, clip no, that. that. Clip that. That doesn't exist. Sound bite that. <laughs> what are you talking about? No! <laughs> Wait what? a minute. I'm in control of the audio files. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve. What happened here? <sighs> Uh, so Mr. Kill Bill has a business deal with another, uh, I guess, a corrupt bad guy. Uh, and there is a deal. Like, he will be paid a corrupt ex- bad guy. Yes. As opposed to, you know, the non-corrupt ones. He has a, a business deal with another bad guy. Uh, the bad guy wants a bunch of cars in exchange for a bunch of money. Uh, and the uh, martial law's kid brother was in one of the cars that wrecked in the, the, the previous sequence. Uh, they go to the garage. There's one car missing, uh, but they're going to get it later. So uh, Mr. Kill Bill and his associates go outside, and there's a guy out there named uh, Faster Brown. I thought they said Foster, but according to IMDb, it is Faster. Faster Brown is this guy's name. And so Faster Brown says, hey, Mr. Kill Bill, I want to work for you again. Uh, I, I, I have some info. This guy named Michael was stealing from you. Well, Michael's the guy that Mr. Kill Bill killed in the last uh, sequence. So that's old news. So uh, Faster Brown just gets told to fuck off. Uh, and then the police get a tip that he is in a nightclub. And so uh, martial law is going to go to the nightclub and try to find and arrest Faster Brown. Uh, but, you know, he looks less like a cop if he has a date with him. So Cynthia Rothrock shows up and is used as like almost a literal prop just to take suspicion off of him as he goes into this nightclub. <laughs> when he walks in that nightclub and that woman... What's it called? A rubber club? Yeah. <laughs> it starts make it out with him and hands him a, a condom. And then you have that, like, Rack focus, pull focus onto Cynthia Rothrock's disapproving face, and then she just kind of smiles and goes with it. That's yeah, all right. Yeah, she, you know, she's a she's a jealous woman for a few seconds. You know, like they all are. Yeah, Whoa. right. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but then they they approach Faster Brown. Uh, a fight breaks out. We finally see Cynthia Rothrock do something. Like she she beats up you know uh, several people in this scene. 
Uh, I mean, the action was fine. It wasn't anything it's, crazy. It's American action. And that's that's the differential thing there. Uh, when you see Hong Kong action, that sequence is people flipping off the ceiling, you know, very intricate choreography to make it as, you know, visually pleasing as as possible. But with American filmmaking, they don't do that. It's just, hey, do some like, you know, roundhouse kicks a few times and boom, we got it and go. So you know, in all seriousness, uh, we are making fun of this movie. This is not – anybody listening to this uh, and you've never heard of Cynthia Rothrock before, do not make this martial not law. not where you start. Do not make <laughs> martial law where you start. You start with, See, yes, madam. This is something that you should have told your dear friend Rachel. I mean, I feel like I was posting stuff in the chat room uh, constantly. but you Why know. didn't – well, you were a member of the show. Why didn't you just say, no, you this see, is a bad I don't, call? I, I'm, a, I'm a man. I don't impose my will – on my oh, female please. co-host, I let my f- fem- <laughs> I give my female co-host the information she needs to make a appropriate decision, and she didn't. So, <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, First, I have to say. feminism Matt explains to me now. This, uh, Rachel, I'm on your side. I I Thank would have you. trusted Matt if he had just said, "Hey, you know what, guys? How about we do this over here?" But he didn't. Uh, anyway, I mean, I'll back do that to the in the movie. future if that's what you want. I will definitely do that in the future. I, I, will. I believe I asked which ones we should do, and you said, no, 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 no. We must do this. Jeff has spoken. Je- Jeff has spoken. See, we, we got all the way to this, and this is what makes this show See, interesting. He, we're we're making letting fun of- him m- t- make us turn on one another. We need to stay a united front. Yes, yes. United Jeff against the enemy. Jeff. <laughs> Here, here's the thing, though, but we have to pick a movie for Jeff, and we have to make sure it's something that he cannot stand sitting through. Ooh. So we got to figure something out. Like, let's make him watch Fahrenheit 9-11 or some shit. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, continue, Steve. Continue. Anyways, back to the movie. Uh, or don't. So they, ha- they they fight Faster Brown and arrest him, uh, and then Hello? they, Can you not I guess. Hear Steve? I cannot hear Steve. What? No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. What happened? <laughs> on my Matt screen, it says. I cannot hear you. At my, on my <laughs> screen, it says Steve has left. All right. Well, what do we do to fix this? Because I can still hear you fine. Like, I literally. Can but you Matt's, hear Matt? Matt's not even in the, the room anymore on my end. I can show you what, what my screen is... looks like. Okay. Both of you can, are talking to me because you can both hear me or you can't hear each other. So um, I feel like we leave this in because it is very emblematic of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and stop. We're gonna upload the audio for this, and we're gonna—I'm gonna send you guys a new link, and we'll see if y'all can keep it together. <laughs> Sounds good. That link and internet. All right, leaving. Yeah! because I screenshotted what my screen looked like, and I will prove to you that Steve left. There you go. Right there. Check it out. <laughs> See, on my, on my screen, it said the same thing about you. It told me that you hadn't been heard from in 10 seconds and it Lies and slander. <laughs> <laughs> Lies and slander. Hmm. <laughs> Is Jeff also behind cast? Do we I don't know. <laughs> I feel like they're really trying to break up the Steve cast today. Something is happening. I mean, tonight. the Steve cast needs none to of break up good. after this episode. <laughs> Are we ready to like talk about the movie? We haven't yes. even gotten through the last fifteen minutes. Okay, Keep okay, sorry. Going. Going. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> Cynthia Rothrock and less cool guy beat up a bunch of bad guys. They arrest Faster Brown. It cuts back to Mister Kill Bill. Uh, and his business deal. The last car has been delivered. It's been delivered by Marshall Brown. Marshall Brown? Marshall Law. It's been delivered by Marshall Law's <laughs> little brother. And then Kill Bill's like, hey, uh, let's let's make a deal. There is this giant man. And Kill Bill says... And he, the, the who giant is not man, Cynthia Rothrock. Who is not Cynthia Rothrock. This giant man works for Kill Bill's uh, business partner. And he says, basically, like, double or nothing. He and I, he and this giant guy fight to the death. If uh, if he wins, then you get all these cars for free. But if I win, you pay me double for the cars. And then they fight. And <laughs> Mr. So Kill stupid. Bill's 
getting his ass kicked, and then he hits the giant guy with the five point palm exploding heart technique. Yep. And seriously, he like punches him in the heart, and then like jimmies his hand around a little bit just to, to yep. rub it in, uh, and the guy dies. Uh, and this then is it cuts... a prequel to Kill Bill. Right? Yeah, it could right. be. Uh, yeah, I knew it. I know continuity. I know. Uh, Anyways, he kills the the giant guy. Uh, the the business partner is told, you know, deliver the extra money by tomorrow. Uh, and then uh, martial law and Cynthia Rothrock get home, and Jesus. Cynthia Rothrock tries to open her mouth and form words, but he cuts her <laughs> off, and they just start having sex. Oh, it cuts to the next day, and uh, martial oh, law God. is basically just a corrupt cop, and he is trying to get his little brother off the hook by having the little brother meet with the DEA. Uh, fuck this movie. <laughs> Uh, you, you you forgot the like the big important part of this movie. And there was an important part of this movie. Yeah, it's the the post coitus conversation between uh, Cynthia and Marshall Law. So Rachel, can me. you can you tell me like uh, go in depth? What what is this all about? What tell me what this means about the human condition? I mean, I it's kind of wild that I mean the way that you guys hyped up her and the. We got this incredible bio at the beginning of the film about all these glass ceilings that she karate chopped right through. And then we <laughs> And then we watch this movie and the like degree of sidelining and sexism and like tropey garbage that is falling out of her mouth when she isn't like disapprovingly staring at him for making out with some gal. I'm just like, are you kidding me? I, I did not it, pick this movie. I take no responsibility for this. I didn't pick it either. It, but was, you a joint, it was a joint decision you between allowed Jeff this and Rachel. Happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, Steve, you got you to gotta tweet Miss Rothrock. We got to mm. ask her some questions about I think it's time. martial law. Oh, all right. We've uh, seen one minute of screen time with her. I guess it's time. <laughs> She's actually like active on Twitter. She might yes, reply, and that scares she might. me. No, Hell do yeah! It. Do it. What are we like, gonna say? Well, the worst she could do is like chop you and kill in half. me. <laughs> <That's> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean... so I, I will. I will let you guys know. I mean, neither one of you have seen Martial Law. I had actually seen this movie long ago, um, and. This is, without a doubt, one of the worst representations of a Cynthia Rothrock film I could possibly imagine. But I felt it would make a really good show because we're going to just trash Jeff all night, and that makes me happy. So, <laughs> Jeff Wreck. We would not yeah. have the phrase Jeff Wreck without doing this tonight, and that has made it all worth it. Yeah, I just want to remind you that the only thing necessary to... Uh, for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. I'm, I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> Live with that. <laughs> uh, 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 seriously, watch Yes, Madam. <laughs> watch that movie after <laughs> this. So I mean, like, we... what? how am I supposed to feel about Cynthia Rothrock after this? Like, I thought I was going to come away from this, like, a super fan, buying all the merch, like, life yeah. changed. What you should and... do, Rachel, is channel your question to Steve so he can tweet it to her and get a response by the end of the show. Uh, except you can't do that because uh, Twitter is not letting me log in right now. Lies. Mm, Lies. Convenient. <laughs> convenient. He saw he was she was uh, very active, and suddenly he can't get in. Uh, can't get in. Uh, Elon Musk is preventing me from logging in. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> okay, so obviously we are not hot on this yet, but hey, I mean we got another hour to go. So oh, Jesus, maybe, do we maybe, have maybe, to? Maybe maybe it'll turn around, guys. Maybe it'll turn around. We we can't can't make a determination yet. We gotta we gotta go all the way. So with that, we're gonna watch the next fifteen minutes uh, minutes thirty through forty five of Martial Fucking Law. Thank you, Jeff, for this wonderful evening. We love you. We appreciate you. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Jesus. <sighs> How long have you been working for me, Michael? Six, uh, seven weeks. I let you work for me because I liked what I saw in the dojo. You learn fast. But don't back down. You're tough. Zeke here thought he was tough, too. Is he tough to you now, Michael? Hmm. 
<laughs> Don't make me puke. <laughs> uh, it's like an AI was like, what are all the things Rachel hates? Let's turn it into a movie. Can we, can we like officially declare that Jeff is never allowed to pick a movie for the Steve cast ever yeah, again? Yeah, done. We... I second. Good. Yeah, the motion, the motion has carries. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Steve. Tell us what happened in this 15 minutes. Uh, so I spent the first five minutes fighting with Twitter, and then I didn't care about the next 10. So, Rachel, tell us what happened in like, this I'm not even trying minutes. to be funny. I left my body. I don't fucking know what happened. I re- briefly re-entered it when she was, like, in her, you know, tactical blazer kicking somebody's ass. But other than that, I was just like, Matt, this. tell us what happened in this last 15 minutes. Okay, so Cynthia Rothrock is sitting in a police car, and she decides, hey, I see a guy i'm gonna go take him out uh, the male in the car is like you're crazy woman you can't run over there and get that guy but she does she does she goes and <clears throat> she gets this dude um and basically they are uh, interrogating him we don't actually see the interrogation we just get told he's not saying anything martial law and cynthia rothrock decide that they are going to go talk to somebody else that they might know who's completely unimportant uh, to try to figure out what to do next. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, uh, David Carradine, Mr. Kill Bill. Bill Kill. No, sorry. Sorry. Mr. Bill Kill, Kill Bill. <laughs> Mr. Bill Kill. Uh, Mr. Mr. Kill Bill shows up uh, at this meeting of somebody who I don't even know who it is. Um, the guy pulls guns on him, but Mr. Kill Bill says, oh, that's too bad. Then he opens up the back of his truck and then he's got two guys that point guns and then other guys immediately drop their guns. And that that's a scene that happened. Uh, Cynthia Rothrock then, <laughs> with with martial law, they they get this this naturalized United States citizen up against a wall uh, mm-hmm. and start like uh, yelling at him to to help him. And that immediately martial law does this, and he immediately gets killed afterwards, leading to martial law and Cynthia Rothrock having another fight sequence. Now this was probably the best fight sequence of the movie. I would say, yeah. easily the best. Mostly you actually because get- of the sound effects. Yeah. Sound effects are good. Boing. You, yeah, so you get to see uh, Cynthia Rothrock actually do a little bit more in this. There's a, sort of an extended fight sequence. She's kind of going up um, up some uh, staircase with the guy. Um, so, you know, again, it's no Hong Kong fight scene, but it's oh, for God. this movie. Oh, for this movie, it's better than what we've gotten so far. And um, now we're at the point where, what is the name, Faster Brown? Yeah. He's now out of jail, and he's like, hey, motherfucker, I told you I didn't kill anybody. And so they let him out of jail, but I think it's some sort of weird uh, – they're going to follow him or, or something and, and figure out what's going on. He's going to lead them to the next clue. Um, so that's kind of where we're at right now. Yeah, Faster Brown also – just found out that uh, Martial Law is the brother of the the guy that has been working for Mr. Kill Bill, yes. and it seems like Faster Brown can't wait to go and yes. tell that to Mr. Kill Bill so he can get back yep. in, uh, in his Mr. Good Kill Bill's good graces. Correct. Right. Correct. So um, you were paying attention. I, I caught the end of it. <laughs> yes, you caught the most important part of it. Thank you. Appreciate That's it. why I'm here. Yes. All right, so game for this next 15 minutes. Try to find a single person of color that is not a villain. I you won't. I, I do not accept this challenge. <laughs> yeah, I don't accept the challenge either. But hey, um, Twitter's working. Rachel, what would you like me yes. to say to uh, Cynthia Rothrock? I'm sorry. I mean, I think you could say I've introduced my feminist friend to you via martial law, and I'm sorry. was that a, yeah, say, was that a wise decision? And see what she says. <laughs> yeah, I've introduced my feminist friend. To your films at Zombie Girls. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, so wait. All right, so I'm saying I've introduced my feminist friend to your films via martial law, and then, then what? <laughs> Was Rachel, that a good me. idea? Listen, this is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Let me think about it. Let me think about just it. Just say, just say. Do you recommend that? Do you recommend that? See what she says. I mean, I'm telling her that I've already done it. So oh, okay. Um, just say, was that a wise decision? And see yes. what she says. And then she's going to respond with an answer Rachel really doesn't want to hear. And then Rachel will not go watch another Cynthia Rothrock <laughs> movie ever again. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is a rough go, guys. Somehow this is a rough go. Tweeted. This is a rough go. Done. This is, yes, this is why Jeff can never pick a movie. 
Agreed. It can't. Agreed. It can't. Um, this might be the shortest segment in Steve Cass history because I have you know nothing what? else to say about this. I what? just realized there's been one other movie that he selected in the entire like long. Oh, I remember. Story I wasn't going to bring it up, Steve but Cass. I remember it. Do you remember what it was, Matt? No. What was it? It was Nymphomaniac. <laughs> oh, see, he's got a the he's one got a... the one movie we quit midway through an episode. <laughs> That's and true. To something else. Yes, it's all coming back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, he's in the he's on the shit list now. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Questioning my friendship with the guy, honestly, live on air. Like. I had buried that, like it just it like receded deep into my mind, yeah. and it's like, wait, now that you remember it, yeah, yeah. yes, nymphomaniac, yeah. okay. That was right. also a Steve joint. Or what a what a joint, what a joint. terrible consequence to be banned from Steve Cast film selection. <laughs> I'm sure we probably we probably banned him on that episode too, and we just forgot so <laughs> so we're officially halfway through this no. movie and we are hoping now now rachel i want to i want to wait and see i want to give cynthia some time to respond to steve <laughs> i want to see because okay. we've never had anybody ever respond right Mm-mm. and why would they steve um <laughs> i feel like cynthia will i feel it i just feel yeah. good about it she's my girl not in this movie necessarily, but uh, <laughs> I, I feel I feel positive about it. So let's go ahead and give her some time to percolate on this question that Steve asked her and watch minutes 45 through 60 of Martial Law and see what Faster Brown is about to do here. In five, four, three, two, fuck you, Jeff. <laughs> what are you going to do now without your gun, tough guy? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> so Obi-Wan's coming out this Friday, guys. I Are know. we excited Let's for Obi-Wan? <laughs> we excited for Obi-Wan. Hell yes. Oh so Matt's God. missing from my screen on again, my screen, and I'm guessing Steve you can't hear me either. Again, what the fuck FYI. is going on? You're both here for me. <laughs> I'm just telling you, he's not here. It says he's... Steve, again, has left. It's literally what it says on my screen. I mean, are you guys plugging and unplugging your mics at all? I'm not no, doing anything. I'm just sitting here. Uh, this but whatever. Uh, I'm going to... I assume we got to start a third one. Yeah, we're going to start a third one. I'm going to stop it now. So don't leave. <laughs> okay. Don't leave. That does not matter, Steve. It does not matter what the history is. It matters what's happening in the moment. And I am not Matt Nidoing anything. I'm literally I'm not just doing sitting here with either. you. Like, we are each getting the same mess. You know what? The common denominator is Rachel. It's true. But except for I can hear everybody. It's it, well, you're right, Steve. It's usually the woman's fault. <laughs> So, oh god! Right. Rachel is coming between two <laughs> friends here. Well, you know, typical. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I'm real excited for Obi Wan. I really am. This Friday, I think it's going to be fantastic. And um, shall we watch the next 15 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just, I just want to point out that I'm really, really sick of martial law here not the movie and the man yeah <laughs> um, th- this whole s- this whole plot with michael his little brother he has let this guy get away with crime after crime after crime mm-hmm. after crime there's a if, lesson here mm-hmm. if he wants to keep his little brother out of trouble put him in fucking jail where he belongs <laughs> stop trying to get the da to drop all the charges against him it's just making me mad. It's infuriating. So, so here's this, this movie sucks, and we don't want to talk about it. Like, if uh, I realize Rachel, this is a stretch, but if you were ever in law enforcement, would you ever have a problem? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> would you ever have oh, a problem arresting like <laughs> uh, a friend or family member? <laughs> Matt, same do- question to you. If you were, if either of you were cops, would you have? any hesitation to arrest a friend or family member and i'm telling you i mean i would, I would assume if i was a cop i was i was corrupt so yes uh i would absolutely arrest uh my friends and family members i if i could right now i would do it <laughs> <laughs> like, 
like, you're just I'm waiting for that probable cause. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, like Jeff, for example, I would arrest him if I could, just for making me watch this movie. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, God. All right, so let's let's recap this last previous fifteen minutes so we can move on. Uh, Faster Brown <laughs> finally uh, gets back to Mister Kill Bill and says, "Hey, Michael is working with the cops because he spotted Michael and Martial Law uh, exchanging money." Uh, the context is Martial Law is telling uh, his younger brother Michael to you know buy buy mom a present. Uh, Faster Brown <laughs> takes this to Mr. Kill Bill. <laughs> I forgot uh, about mom. She's in this movie. Yes. Uh, yeah. Mr. Kill Bill confronts Michael. Uh, and, you know, are, are you a cop? Or are you working with the cops? And Michael, of course, says no. And so Mr. Kill Bill takes everyone out uh, just to th- a-, a road somewhere and gives Michael a gun and says, you know, prove you're not a police informant by uh, killing Faster Brown. Uh, Faster Brown runs away. Uh, they fight at uh, Griffith Observatory. Uh, and then Michael grabs the gun and fires it into the air to uh, pretend like he killed Faster Brown and tells Faster Brown to uh, run away. Faster Can I Brown, stop you real quick? Can I stop you real quick? Please. Griffith Observatory is fucking amazing. So anybody who's in the Los Angeles area and you're going there for vacation – Definitely, definitely take the trip up to Griffith Observatory. You can see the Hollywood sign from there. It's uh, you can see the the smog haze uh, of Los <laughs> Angeles from there. You can you can look. I mean, it looks amazing uh, on sunsets and sunrises. I'm mean, not going to lie. The yeah, smog that's true. makes it, it look incredible. Yeah. So you know the the lung damage is worth it for the visual aesthetic of it. I think, <laughs> and uh, and they let you actually uh, use the the giant telescope there on, on clear nights to to look up at the stars it's fantastic and um check out the zoo i mean is there anything else i can talk about rather than this movie <laughs> hollywood boulevard's awesome it's not too far away you can hit that okay steve yeah. sorry go ahead <laughs> uh faster brown who was just allowed to live immediately uh decides to you know get back at it uh so he, when he he finds out that michael and uh, another nameless goon are about to go steal some cars on behalf of mr kill bill uh, he direct calls martial law. I, I'm not sure how he got that number, but whatever. Uh, and tells him, you know, uh, there, there's a crime going down that you have a personal connection to. Uh, so martial law and his tag along girlfriend, which is essentially what Cynthia Rothrock is in this movie. <laughs> yep. Um, they, they go out to, to stop this crime. And so Cynthia, Ro- Cynthia Rothrock, uh, beats the shit out of this nameless goon, which was, uh, I, I, I like seeing him get beat up. Uh, that was a fun fight. Uh, cause he, he, I think, is that the first time that anyone's actually like landed a hit on her in this movie? I think so. I feel like I she got, so. she I mean, got I think hit. She got hit the- yeah, on the stair times. fight, I think there was she. All right, yeah. well, she got hit well, cool and just she, completely she no sold it. Yeah, she mm-hmm. never takes damage. Well, anyways, she beats up this other guy, and then uh, martial law tracks down Michael and just kind of roughs him up a little bit and tells him, you know, get out of my face. And then, uh, so it cuts to the police station, and they're interrogating the the other guy who won't talk. And then there's this really weird sequence where Martial Law is like, no, I, I can't can't deal with him right now. I, I got to go back to the dojo. Cut to five-second dojo fight, then That's cut so to the weird. next scene. Very uh, weird. <laughs> where he immediately admits to Cynthia Rothrock, you know, it was Michael, uh, and I, I, I just let him go. I let him go again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my, my brother keeps fucking up. I, I don't punish him for anything that he does wrong. I, I don't know what's going on here. Right. Because people should be punished for their crimes. Mm-hmm. Just gonna let that, <laughs> just let that go. Um, so Michael, uh, love you, Rachel. <laughs> love oh, this you. is this is every part of this cast is uncomfortable. Uh, from the movie to the technology to the interactions between the three of us, this is a fucking. Class. I, st- I still got that that Rachel as law enforcement officer thing rolling through my mind now. Mm. So you know, <laughs> as per your fantasy, that's Hand gonna cuffs. be in your next dream about me, I guess. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I can't wait to tell you about that dream. Okay. It's going to be fun. Check out very, IOU. Very Another uncomfortable show right now. Uh, so where are we at? Uh, <laughs> martial law just admits that he let his brother go, which I assume is probably crime. some sort of crime in itself. He should jail himself. <laughs> uh, and then the, the scene, the last 15 minutes ended with Michael calling the police station, and I, it looks like Cynthia Rothrop picks up but i don't know if we don't know yet if he's calling to talk to her or trying to find his brother or what 
Uh, fuck this movie. I don't give a shit about Michael. Uh, I feel like I feel like Michael's gonna die, and I'm probably going to be okay with that when it happens. You know, I'm thinking here. Um, the sheer disappointment <laughs> of yeah. this movie has, I think it's usurped something like Alien Battlefield Earth. Because we knew going in that that was going mm-hmm. to be garbage, right? Right. It was going to be terrible. But this, you know, it's ruining Rachel's first yeah. impression of like an yeah. iconic female uh, kung fu fighter. It's yeah. priceless, though. It's <laughs> it's priceless. Yeah, and, like... Uh, Go ahead. Sorry. You, I was saying you keep said you were saying in the chat how you're sending me all these links and I watched none of them because I wanted to go in cold. I wanted wow. you guys to get to like with me experience the like practically orgasmic experience of what was described to me for the first time. And instead. And instead you got Matt orgasming about Cynthia Rothrock's <laughs> 80s hair. Outfit. Yeah. Yeah. And guess what, guys? Martial Law 2 Undercover. Huh? Oh God. Oh, huh? Does she at least have top billing in that one? Of course not. God damn it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but Billy Drago's in it. Oh. Come on now. Billy Drago. We I love, feel we love like ourselves at, in no, Billy I'm, Drago. I'm pulling rank here. Next episode, we're watching a killer doll movie. Oh, Jesus. Fair. Okay. Fair. Okay. okay. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. We I deserve mean, it, it. It is Steve Cast. I mean, you have ultimate rank, pull rank on anything, I think. I mean, yeah. He's the. Titopotamus or whatever. Titopotamus? <laughs> 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 All right, I'm Titopotamus. Googling that. I want to see what Titopotamus comes up Titopotamus. <laughs> I will never not disassociate you with the Titopotamus, Steve. I feel like we need a piece of, we need a piece of art commissioned. <laughs> Titopotamus. Oh, my gosh. Has Cynthia responded yet? To Let me see. Tweet? Let me see. Come on. Crossing my fingers. I'm Come sure on, she has Cynthia. more important things to do tonight than, than us. Uh, She's probably teaching a class or something like that. No, no responses. I'm disappointed. <laughs> You've let it's me down time. again, Cynthia Rothrock. We Rock. still got uh, 30 minutes. <laughs> or eternity, <laughs> so, depending on Or eternity. <laughs> okay, so we're an hour in. We still have 30 more minutes of this. So we got another two segments. Um, let's go ahead and start. A minute sixty through seventy five, and hope it gets better. Yeah, I can't wait <laughs> to start a forecast. <laughs> yes, so we'll start in five, four, three, two, play. So, Steve, tell me more about how you wanted to be a cop. Why? (laughs) Because I want to make a movie called Steve Cop. Yeah. It's like Wolf Cop, but with Steve. Half cop, half half Steve. (laughs) All titty (laughs) bottomists. What the fuck is going on? Can you see what? Matt, Steve? Because Steve can't, or it's confusing your both Steve's. Oh, God damn it. Can you see Matt, there, Steve? Uh, nope. It says one minute ago, Steve Cop has been inactive for over 10 seconds, and Steve You're Cop has left. I'm so upset. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. <laughs> Look, I'll meet you at Millie's hot dog stands in an hour. Just be there, okay? Bye. And <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, Matt, Steve, Steve, Steve can on. you see and hear each other? I feel like the universe is telling Matt and I to not be friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it was doing the same fucking thing on Zincaster. Like, why why does Matt is keep so fucking this up weird. across like this multiple it- programs? <laughs> This isn't me. This is not me. I know it's not me. It's you. And I just lost Matt again. (laughs) Jesus. I do like the title of this, though. Titty (laughs) Pie. Oh, Matt's back.
<laughs> oh wait, did, could you not see Matt until Oh no, now? Matt, Matt, Matt dropped off again for a few seconds, and he what just. What are you talking about? <laughs> is, is he back though? Are you? God, Matt, are you there? Him. Yes, I'm here. Can you not hear me? Oh my god. Steve, he's can fucking, you not hear Matt? He's got to be nope, fucking with sure us. can't. He's got to be fucking with us. I can hear him just fine. All right, now nothing. I hear Matt. Now I hear Matt again. <laughs> God. Oh, my God. Recap fast. Fast, Steve. What the hell happened in this 15 minutes? God damn it. All right. They they, they kidnap Michael. They they take Michael to the dojo. And, I can't uh, hear him. No! Oh my fucking God. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, Go ahead. No. I don't, now, oh now I can still hear Matt. I'm getting, oh I'm my kidding. god. I'm kidding. Keep going. Keep going. I can hear you just fine. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so angry right now. <laughs> I know Jeff. your names have gotten aggressively more like aggressive every fucking time Jeff. we start one of these. <laughs> Hate that guy. Oh my god. All right, uh, Steve. Steve, yes. come on. Continue. Come on. Uh, is Matt there? Are we good to go? Yes. Can you not hear me? No, don't play these games, guys. Is he actually there? <laughs> okay, it just says cat no! hasn't seen fuck Matt over 10 <laughs> seconds. No! We've had to presume they've disconnected. No! I don't what? know what's happening, Rachel. Yeah, I can, I mean, I can you hear and both I can of still you hear just each fine. Other just fine. You're both yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, Matt, can you hear me? No, I don't think you can. I can hear both. I can hear both of you. Okay, well let's let's just maybe like let's just stay here for a second and see if he comes back. Okay, I'm fine with that. This thing is going to be a Franken call. I will try to piece something together for I, you, Matt. <laughs> Holy I, I, fuck! Can you can you two not hear me? Um, can, I can hear you, Steve. I'm I waiting can hear, to see. If I can Matt... I can hear Matt as Have well. Steve just leave and then come back into this link. Can he? Yeah. Okay. It? Well, here's the thing: is he can hear you, but you can't hear him. So I think maybe you should go and come back, Matt. Right, yeah, fuck I'll you, Matt. That. This is your fault. <laughs> I like that you can't hear each other, but you're both telling no, each other. No, I fuck can't you. hear him. I can hear him. <laughs> no, no, it'll it if you come back in, it'll come right. You know, it'll be fine. Oh my god, it's so fucking hot, and I can't have my AC on because we're recording. <laughs> I'm just like fucking sweating. <sighs> this is so intense, and it's like a thousand degrees in California. And today. fuck you, climate change. <laughs> yes, climate change is definitely fucking with me right Everybody, now. Everybody, you can you can stand, sit down. I'm here. Do, can do, you do, hear do. me, Steve? <laughs> yes. Fuck Steve to hell has left, but fuck piece of shit Steve appears to be present. <laughs> <laughs> are we are we good now? I don't know. I'm so hot. Okay, sorry. I'm just like, sweating. <laughs> so I can hear both of you that time. So this is unequivocally a Matt no, problem. No, this is okay. not a me problem. Oh. Steve, recap let's, it. Let's fast. talk about martial law. No, Michael gets kidnapped. He gets put in a yeah. fight against Faster Brown and told basically the winner of you will get to live. Uh, Michael wins, but he can't kill Faster Brown, so Mr. Kill Bill kills Faster Brown instead, and then he kills Michael. Finally, Michael faces some fucking consequences. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the cops show up at the, the martial law family house. They, he get, they, they get, they tell martial law and mom that, hey, little brother died. Uh, martial law is pissed. He decides, I'm going to infiltrate this dojo run by Mr. Kill Bill. Uh, and then the editing gets real fucky. Like, there's scenes of them at the police station, scenes of them at home, Much and like scenes of him at the podcast. dojo. Yes. <laughs> this, this fucking... Life is entertain in Frankenstein <laughs> editing. I can't... It, it just... It constantly switches between home dojo police station in a random order, and I can't actually tell what's going on. Uh, regardless, apparently the plan worked. Martial law has been contacted by the bad guys and offered to uh, basically work as a, a hired gun. Uh, and there we are. Uh, fuck. So Matt. why'd you want to be a cop, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. What I don't know. <laughs> um, so Rachel, how do you think this is going to end? I mean, we're riveted. We're on the edge of our seats here. Oh, I mean, I think it's. I, is there any chance that there will be a twist or a surprise at the end of this? I don't like, think so. I, you know, we, we forgot the most important part where uh, martial law leaves and he just tells Cynthia Rothrock to stay at home. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I want to bring something the most up. Important on the uh, part. <laughs> 
uh, on a recent two mats one Steve, we were talking about movies where basically everything bad that happens happened due to the good guys uh, fucking up, and this is one of those movies. Yes. All martial law had to do to f- solve this problem is arrest his brother one fucking time. Yep. Right. Yes. Yeah. And or just step aside and let the Rothrock handle it. <clears throat> the, the Rothrock. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> she has still not responded, and who can blame her after this? So <laughs> you have to send her the <laughs> dark chapter. The link. Her, okay? The link to this. This when it goes up, you have to send it to Cynthia Rothrock. I want. I want her to listen. Yes. Do we? Do we yes! actually have to do that? Yes. yes. I want to like interview her or something. Like we need to bring her on Outpost Unknown and just talk. How do you feel like being in this douchebag shadow in this movie? I probably wouldn't ask her that. But uh... <laughs> yeah, that's maybe, not maybe, your icebreaker. <laughs> maybe she's actually really good friends what with this the guy. Fuck, Who knows? Cynthia. Uh... <laughs> My opening salvo, Sylvia. What the fuck is up with martial law? Why did you accept that? <laughs> why did you accept that bullshit? What What is wrong with it, and why does Jeff love it so much? God. I mean, I think those answers are the same. But I definitely think we need to get her to star in Titty Potamus Cop. (laughs) Right? (laughs) Because that's got to be a thing that happens going forward. I I, I want to Google that, but I'm so afraid that if I leave this cast window, it's all just going to fucking turn into shit. That's that's a good point. Don't touch nothing, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. No! No! This ain't going to be my fault. This ain't going to be my fault. So, Rachel, how's this going to end? Tell me. How's it going to end? I mean... I think probably Cynthia is going to make him a nice warm dinner Sweet. after Sounds he great. gets, uh, uh, you know, justice for the unjust death of his brother who was just trying to <laughs> make a buck. <laughs> <laughs> did you find something with Titty Pot his cop? Oh, no, I think he did. Is, it, is this a thing? Holy shit. I, I just look up Titty Pot of okay. add cop. I'll see what okay, I get I'm going to read this. Now. I have no idea. To... Okay, Titty Pot. And oh, oh, yeah, please oh, read no. it. I don't know if I want to. Okay, and oh. <laughs> Often you awake one morning, a frighteningly short time. At... Okay, I don't want to read this. I don't want to read any more of this. I... <laughs> <laughs> this is all being cut out. <laughs> this is very yes. problematic. Uh... <laughs> Titty Potamus Cop returns no results. Okay, well, um, I wanted to make that movie, but I don't now. <laughs> so we're not gonna, we're not... <laughs> no, you need to reclaim. We are reclaiming the language. Okay, okay? Let's do like, that. cannot let them that win. Poor we are fuck reclaiming Mike. It. Half his salary goes to keeping his Titty Potamus and Twinkies in larger and larger sweatpants. I hate this show. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Hey, I had nothing to do with this link, Rachel. I just want to let you know, I had nothing to do with this link. <laughs> Um, okay, guys. So you know we we're heading into the, the home stretch here. We got 15 <laughs> minutes left. Um, maybe the film could pull it around. Like you, maybe, maybe we can get. Ah, fuck it. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two. <laughs> <This is laughs> <our> <laughs> to go, go, hit play, please. The hardest of da, 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 This movie is the hardest of da, 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 da. Fuck you, Jeff. <sighs> Fuck you, Matt. What? On the bright side, I get... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to stay out of this. <laughs> you heard my feelings, friend. So, what did we think? <laughs> I liked the last section the best because it was when I was actually watching YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> when you were watching the Yes, Madam fight sequence, sir? Yes. 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 Like, I realized this This made me hate this movie even more retroactively, yes. which I did not think was possible, because now I know just how little they're letting her do and what yes. she's actually capable yes. of. And this is some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And this is... This <laughs> I is, am taking the shit personally. Well, I mean, you know, this is Jeff's pick. Not close, Rachel. Not close. <laughs> not close. <laughs> not, not close. close. <laughs> So Steve, wrap wrap us up. How how did this end? Uh, 
so Marshall Law guy gets uh he gets brought to the scene of a, a weapon still uh, with Mr. Kill Bill and his crew. Uh, they're going to sell weapons to some corrupt general. Uh, Mr. Kill Bill turns on him and kills the general and all the general's men. Uh, and then Mr. Kill Bill and his henchmen kill all of the hired help that they brought. And then uh, they they take martial law into the plane hangar. Uh, Mr. Kill Bill knew the whole time who this guy actually was. <laughs> uh, and they're just going to have a final fight because Michael, before dying, basically said... My brother, martial law cop, is better than you, and you know, Mr. Kill Bill can't let that go untested. Um, okay. so he fights, uh, and they fight. Mr. Kill Bill is losing, he tells henchmen to, to shoot martial law, and then Cynthia Rothrock comes in and uh, they fight. Let's be honest, they just had like the two sidekicks fight. Mm -hmm. uh, because unfortunately, that's what Cynthia Rothrock. Have you noticed a trend in all these martial arts movies? We connect with the sidekick and hate the hero. Yeah. I mean, that does seem to be a pattern, dude. That's really interesting. <laughs> that's a good observation, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow! This Love you, Steve. God. Love you. <laughs> no, this is the end wow. of the friendship. Uh, Rachel was the catalyst for the end. <laughs> Uh, what? Because again, she is the only uh, the common she is thread the common denominator. In, in all of this. Yes, it must be. She is the one who what? introduced us to both cast My and Zencaster. Plan finally comes together. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, Cynthia Rothrock uh, does the splits and punches henchmen in the balls a bunch, and then Ooh, hits them with a yeah. wrench. So she wins her fight. Uh, martial law is beating the shit out of Mister Kill Bill. Uh, Cynthia Rothrock comes up and gives him a power hug to stop him. They start to walk away, but Mr. Kill Bill gets up, and Martial Law hits him with the five-point palm exploding heart technique, uh, and then they they just walk away. The end. <laughs> this was real bad. It was real, real this bad. Was <laughs> wow. Real bad. Which is saying a lot, considering sort of the, the quality of film we talk about on the Steamcast. The bar is not high. Well, let's 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 it's ask you. I'm going to ask you a serious question here, Rachel. Um, oh, we had a lost a lost ninja movie <laughs> called Ninja Vengeance that shall never oh, that, that'll never be aired. But is sure? is sure? this a better movie <laughs> than Ninja Vengeance? Oh, I mean yes, okay. but it hurts me to say it. But okay. yes. <laughs> so so we haven't but we haven't the, dropped the to the fans bottom. Will never yet. know until we yeah that that's behind the paywall the Patreon paywall. <laughs> that, that one there. Um, so we haven't really reached the bottom yet on, on the resuscitated Steve cast, um, the remake that we're doing here. We haven't we haven't seen the worst, even though we felt real bad about this. I think there's a disappointment level to this. That is, yeah, you know, you, you can't really calculate how much that means to our negative experience. Whereas with Ninja Vengeance, we were just kind of like we, we knew it was Ooh. going to be bad. Ooh. Um but we weren't disappointed. <laughs> we weren't prepared. We weren't prepared for, yeah, so. We were hyped for this one. And Jeff led yeah. us astray. Hyped. Like, actually looking forward to this. Like, making sure I and went be clear, Rachel doesn't look forward to Steve Cass often. No, I do not. I dread it all month. But then, <laughs> this time, I thought it was going to be different. <laughs> wow. Jeff Wreck. Um, so, I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I, there's nothing else for me to say. Uh, Rachel, what are your final thoughts on on this? I mean, I will say as crap as this movie was, she is the highlight. And now knowing that this is the basement, like if it gets better than this, then I can see why there's all the hype about her. So it gave me at first I went from being like super high, like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. I'm ready to be a fangirl to being like, nope, I'm out. But now I'm kind of like, all right, it, if it only gets better from here, it's like enough of a tease that I'm like ready to continue my Rothrock journey. The Hong Kong. You've got to do Rothrock Hong Kong. Yeah. The, Ameri right, the so American here's, here's, so much. Here's what I want to do. I, I, after the last few episodes, I need a fucking palate cleanser. So we're watching a, a killer doll <laughs> slash puppet movie next Wait, episode. hold on. Okay, what are we watching? I don't know yet, but Matt... I I want you to go through the to be Cynthia Rothrock offerings and pick what you think is actually a good movie that would please Rachel. Yes, please me, Matt. Oh, I will. 
Don't you worry. <laughs> okay. Don't you worry. Promise I was promises. actually looking. I, I just Googled real quick uh, Baby Oopsie Chapter 2 to see when it would release. September 3rd. So mark that on your calendars, guys. Baby Oopsie right. Part okay. 2. Oh, my God. That's going to be my birthday episode. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking. Baby Oopsie. I, I, th- <laughs> <laughs> I came across a movie called Doll Factory. That oh, is God. on Tubi, and I think we might we could be all right. Do you want well, to watch Robert? Yeah, there there's Robert the doll, which could be you know the gritty comeback from the guy that made uh, Alien Invasion bullshittery. Oh God, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. Uh, or we could watch Doll Factory. You know, we we have some time to think, but I I I want to do right by Cynthia Rothrock. So Matt, your homework is to. Find a good one that we can share with our dear friend well, Rachel, assuming we are all still friends after this. Well, I, I'm looking <laughs> at the the Cynthia Rothrock offerings right now on on Tubi, and they're all the American films. There, there's no, there are no, no. Hong Kong ones. So, so she, we're going to have to get our good friend Jeff to use his pirate abilities to find a good Cynthia Rothrock movie. I do not. And then the end of the episode will be the sound of him exactly. <laughs> and then Jeff going to the gulag for his his theft of of intellectual property. Um, hold on, let me type in doll real quick here. What, what do we got? What about like on Prime or something? It could be. Like, I yeah, I, I can check. I'll, yeah. I'll look around. I will do some research. Deep, deep dive into Cynthia Rothrock. Don't worry. I got, I got it handled, guys. Uh, um, <laughs> so I'm ty- the hardship. Go. The hardship. I, am, uh, I'm, I just typed in doll in Tubi. We got doll face. We got doll factory. We got doll house. We got doll graveyard. We got doll man. We got the doll squad. Doll murder. Oh, doll graveyard looks like a winner. That is a full moon film. Oh. Just letting you know that is that is. I feel like they're they're copying their own stuff. Yeah. Doll killer, clown doll, the doll, baby doll, Russian doll, a thriller, the doll master. Wow, there are a lot of doll movies. See, we should just be uh-huh. doll cast and just make our way through this <laughs> doll cast. Uh, I would have said I'd like to be Titty Potto cast, but that's out of the question now. I don't. No, we're reclaiming. Well, that's we're right. Reclaiming. You it's said it's we're okay. We are reclaiming. <laughs> Titty Podcast. Titty Potamus. Titty Podcast. Can that be a new show on Outpost on Unknown? No, that's just that's just the new name of the Steve Cast, because Steve Cast is a ridiculous <laughs> name. <laughs> Online Titty Podcast. Titty Podcast. Okay, everybody. Oh, I mean, that's a fucking winner. Um I like it, but okay. That's it. Uh, thank you, everyone, for listening to another episode of the Steve Cast. I don't know how I'm going to edit this thing together. It's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> um, but please check out the previous episodes. We've got Baby Oopsie. We got Alien Battlefield Earth. We've got American Ninja Three. Once Paramount stops fucking me. So yeah, <laughs> listen to all of the different things on Outpost Unknown if you want to see us talk about some. What I'm looking forward to is is tomorrow night. Where Steve's going to jump on. He's going to talk about oh, some yeah. real fun stuff that he's excited to talk about. Yeah. <coughs> oh, I'm, I'm sick. And I'm just going to I'm, I'm gonna sit back <laughs> quietly and let Steve take over the show on IOU. We got all kinds of cool stuff. Leave a comment. Email us at outpostunknown at gmail.com. You tell us what you want us to watch. What, what do you want us to suffer through? And we will be we will take it under advisement. With that, I'm Matthew. She's Rachel. Uh, and hi. he's a piece know. of shit. <laughs> 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 and we wish you a good night. Bye, everybody. Titty podcast. <laughs>